This is a, another awesome uh, virtual reality lucid dream that the aliens gave me, gave me a few days ago, and um, they stuck me in a mansion again that I bought. They didn't tell me how much I paid for it, but um, it was like I would say it was an older mansion. It wasn't like brand new or anything. And what the deal was, this couple, like I had an image in my head what they looked like. They were like, um, you know, about six, 58, 60 years old. The image that I had, you know, while I was under this experience. Um, the wife had more lightish hair and the man darker hair. But um, that was the couple that owned it before I bought it. And they um, had, you know, died and everything. But I don't know, you know, when they died or whatever. Or what they looked like when they died or whatever. This is just all, you know, what the alien programmed for me. To think and, and, and whatever. But um, the couple, um, they got their wealth from gambling. You know, I guess they got good at gambling. And, and um, that's how they got their wealth. And, um... So anyway, so I ended up buying the, the mansion and um, it wasn't just um, super big. I mean, it was pretty big, but not like big, like some of the mansions that they've stuck me in before. And, and basically what it was, and, and like I bought it like all by, you know, I was going to live in it like all alone. Like, you know, they always make me like buy these mansions and I'm going to live in it like all alone and, and I'm always kind of like like man do I want to live in this creepy old place by myself you know but um I don't know why they stick me in so many mansions but they do and um that it was really fun that experience they gave me uh in the mansion with the acetone gas leak oh that was a freaking blast that one wasn't mine though I'd, I it wasn't mine. I didn't buy it. That was just a mansion. Well, I forgot. I'll have to go read the uh, video again. But that was just a video. I mean, that was just a mansion where I was, like, somehow visiting. Um, but, yeah, that one I didn't, like, actually buy. But um, but I can't remember how I started um, to visit it or, or why I visited it. I'm sure I say in the video. But that was a couple years ago, that mansion with acetone gas leak. And um, I did have acetone on the brain at the time and shit. But anyway, um, so, but they're always sticking me in mansions. But this one I actually bought, but they didn't tell me how much I paid for it or anything. They didn't program for me, you know, like how much I paid for it to know that. But, um, but it was, um, you know, it was an older mansion. And, um, it was, um... It seemed like it was just like a really, 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 really long, long, long mansion. It didn't necessarily have two levels. I do not remember it having two levels. It was just like one level, but super, you know, big, wide, and long. And um, also it was semi, it was a semi, I mean, it was a mansion with a motel or hotel, whatever you call it, built onto it. But there was only like eight, eight uh, rooms. 
And um, I guess I was going to rent them out or whatever, you know, eventually, you know, after I got the house going or whatever. But it was like I was, I was, you know, it was like it was my first day in the house after I bought it. So the couple, you know, the previous couple, they, um, they, um, um, what was I going to say? Uh, they, um, uh, you know, they had, oh, they had, you know, like I say, I don't know, like they were already dead or whatever. Oh, yeah, I felt like the mansion had been abandoned for quite some time. So after that couple died, um, you know, they could have been 80 or whatever when they died, but the image that I had of them in my brain, they were probably like 59 or 60, um, you know, when they were younger and owned the mansion. But they had left, um, they had, le you know, left a lot of things abandoned in the house. They had left a lot of things behind. But it was pretty empty, but they still had left some, some crap behind. And, um, so basically, it was like my first day, you know, you know, like after you buy a house, then, you know, there's going to be a first day where you go check it out or whatever. The house that you just bought or whatever, before you move all, move all your crap in. Okay, so basically, it was my first day, like after I bought the house, and I started walking around. Forever and ever and ever. I remember um, kind of looking around the kitchen. And um, and then I um, I went over into like, it seemed like it was more like the, it was the, the left end of the mansion. The left end of the mansion, which would be west. I'll, I'll, I'll pretend like that's west because I was facing north as I was standing there. Like, you know, the kitchen was like north. And then I went all the way to the left west all the way to the end of the mansion and in that area there was a pool table that they left behind and they left some like old kind of old rickety looking slot machines that were left behind and um they probably just had the slot machines in there you know just for you know just for looks or whatever you know because that's how they that's how they kind of became rich it was from gambling and um so anyway, so then after I was looking at, and I saw some other wood things too, like wood tables, the pool table was wood, and um, it seemed like the slot machines were part wood as well, and, um, but yeah, it seemed like that area was kind of more cluttery, a bunch of things that they left behind, you know, like some wood tables and stuff. So then I go, um, you know, uh, you know, I turn around and go towards, towards, uh, back, um, well, what direction would that be? You know, south or whatever. And the mansion, I go, you know, backwards, heading, heading east or south or whatever direction that is. And, um, then I go looking around, you know, the bedroom, one, one of the bedrooms. And the bedroom was like super freaking huge. And, um, it was pretty much empty, totally empty except to the left was just um, like an old bed up against the wall and there was some uh, wood, uh, like part of the frame, just some wood panels up against the wall. But it was a huge bedroom, as far as I remember, like the, uh, it was white, the, ground, the floor was white and the walls were white. But it was just huge, a huge bedroom. And um, so basically the whole house w was pretty vacant, but not 100%, you know, they had left some things behind like the pool table and shit like that. Okay, so then after I looked at the, uh, after I looked at the, um, you know, like the kitchen and then where the, I guess that would be kind of like, it was, it was like a semi, um, felt like it was a den, like a semi den, semi living room, but it felt more like a den, you know, where the pool table and the slot machines were, that felt more like a den. And, um, so then after I checked out the bedroom, you know, I was just thinking, damn, this, this bedroom is like huge. And, um, but like I say, the whole mansion, it was one level. And anyway, um, I, I did not ever walk around the, the motel rooms that was hooked on to this mansion that I also owned. I did not go walk, the alien didn't make me go walk around those, um, one of those eight rooms or whatever. And, um, and anyway, so after um, I walked around, or after I, yeah, walked through the big old huge bedroom, then I came, 
I, I came back to the middle part where the kitchen was and I was standing there and then there was a couple real estate agents that w appeared um, I, mean, I don't know I don't know I guess I had the front door open or something and they just like walked in so it was a female and a male and they seemed to be like you know about my age and um and um they were telling me um oh yeah th th what they did was they kind of concocted the story up because they wanted to buy my mansion from me you know they wanted it for some reason but i already owned it so what they did was so um so at that time um i was standing there you know i was facing uh let's see if that was what well, east so i was facing east and then the agents uh, i mean the real estate agents were looking at me and they were you know facing the opposite direction like we were facing fa you know face to face so as I was standing there, um, you know, they acted like the house was haunted. And I was like, really? And I did, I remember, you know, I did kind of start feeling kind of creeped out, especially after I saw what I saw. But anyway, but they did it and I know they did it. Like I knew spirits or ghosts or whatever really didn't do it. They did it because they wanted to concoct a story that I was haunted and everything because they wanted me to sell it to them. So anyway, what they did was, so I looked straight ahead, you know, past where the agents were. And there was like, I don't know, it was like a bunch of wood uh, tables. And on those tables was like a bunch of candles, knickknacks, but a lot of the things were wood. Um, it was like, you know, it just seemed like either wood knickknacks or wood candles and, or maybe even a wood vase and, um, that's why I have all this stuff upside down because there was at least, oh my God, at least six or seven things and it was, they were all turned upside down, you know, which insinuated paranormal activity. So, um, so see, so the, basically they were saying, look, see, look at all these things that are like upside down like this, you know, insinuating that the house was haunted, that the, you know, the ghosts or spirits put all that, those things upside down but they did it I know they did it but anyway they they put all those things upside down because they wanted me to think that the house was haunted and I actually did kind of start feeling creeped out a little bit while under the experience and then I started thinking no way I know you guys did, did that and I can't remember if I said that verbally I don't think I said it verbally to them but I was thinking it in my head I was thinking you know, no way. I know that they did that. I know ghosts did not do that. They actually did that. Put all those things upside down because they wanted um, me to think that the house was haunted because they wanted to buy the mansion from me. Okay, so anyway, so that was part of the uh, scenario. And I know the, the reason why the alien took that bit of information from me, my brain, was because I did just recently watch the episode of The Brady Bunch. Remember where they're trying to like sell the house and the kids didn't want them to sell the house. So they, they pretended like it was haunted. So that's where the alien got the information and threw that in the scenario. Okay. So anyway, so, um, okay. So another part of the scenario, I went out, I went out to the outside of the mansion, over to the left. Actually, it seemed more like um, over to the left, which would have been in front of that, in front of the front door. And like I say, over to the left was that den that I told you about. I felt like I was kind of like right in front of that, you know, den. And the den wasn't too far, you know, left to the left of the middle part of the mansion and the kitchen. And um, so anyway, I went out um, and it was... It was dark time. As far as I remember, it was either dark time or dusk. And I, I, for whatever reason, I went out into the front of my mansion. And for some reason, the parking lot, the parking lot, the parking slots were numbered. And for whatever reason, the alien threw number eight. I saw parking slot number eight. And it was even, it was even numbered, number eight. And I was thinking, okay, well, I can't park here because, you know, it's numbered. Um, it's numbered, so, you know, a uh, customer or whatever is supposed to park there, you know. And I and then I remember thinking, well, what the hell? This is my, you know, fucking mansion. I can park wherever the hell I want to park, you know. 
and, and and first of all, I hadn't even been, you know, it was just my first day, so I didn't even rent out the um, motel rooms yet. But there was only like eight motel rooms. And um, like I say, they were numbered, but the only one um, that I actually saw that was numbered was number eight. And, um, and I remember thinking I was going to park there, and I thought, well, I better not park there because, you know, somebody else, you know, probably should get this uh, spot, you know. And then I remember thinking, what the hell? This is my mansion. I own this damn place, you know. So I'm going to park there. So anyway, I ended up parking in parking spot number eight. Apparently, I was, in, I was in a car. I was in my car or whatever. I don't necessarily remember that part of actually, you know, seeing the car. But I was in a car for whatever reason. And at first, I, I didn't know if I wanted to park in parking slot number eight. Because I felt like... It belonged to somebody else. But then I thought, wait a minute, I own this freaking place, man. I can park wherever the fuck I want to park, you know? So, um, so I ended up parking there in parking slot number eight. And so that's what, um, so the alien didn't really tell me how many, uh, motel rooms there were in the mansion. But, um, I totally feel like there was only about eight. You know what I'm saying? There wasn't any more than like eight motel rooms. And um, so, like I say, um, actually, it was, you know, it was kind of like part motel, part business. Because, you know, whoever bought the house, the mansion, which I bought the mansion, you know, I was going to run it as a business as well. Like a motel business. Okay, so um, that was part of the scenario. And then... Are you okay, baby? Okay, then um, the end of the scenario... Okay, this part was like probably the coolest part of all. Um... So I, I ended up um, uh, going to this other part of the mansion. This, I mean, it was huge. The whole place was just huge. But there wasn't a second level. I mean, it was just huge, but only one level. Super wide, super long. And, okay, so I started walking. Uh, uh, it was like um, north. You know, like the front door would have been facing south. And I was walking um, through, the middle of, through the middle of my mansion again. And I kept walking, you know, north, north, north. Um, like, I don't know where the kitchen was at, at this point, but I went to like a whole nother like area right in the middle of the mansion. And this whole area was, uh, was a small little bakery that the wife, of course, the wife and the husband, were, they were already deceased that they, you know, the previous couple that owned this mansion. But the wife was freaking like a expert baker baker i mean freaking expert baker and um and the wife she okay this whole little area was about as big as uh two big closets two big walk-in closets this whole little area where she did her baking it wasn't like an a, an extra room it was just like a little compartment in the middle of the mansion and like I say, I'm, I can't remember where the kitchen was in relation to that, but it was like way straight ahead, I think. But anyway, so um, this whole little bakery, this little um, compartment area of the mansion, um, it was over to my right. So I, I, so then I turned around. I mean, I turned to my right, and I started looking at the whole little bakery area. I mean, this this wife, man, she knew how to bake, and she was total expert baker. I mean, professional baker. And there was like, um, and like I say, um, I felt like, okay, for whatever reason, I felt like, um, okay, so when they were like, you know, 59, 60 or whatever, it would have been in the 80s, 1980s. So somehow I knew that, okay, so there was a pie sitting there, an old pie and some old cakes. And like I say, they were freaking, I mean, A plus pies and A plus cakes. And, um, and like I say, I felt like the, the cakes and the pies had been abandoned there, just sitting there, you know, for at least 20 or 30 years since the eighties. And, um, and so, like I say, this, this mansion was probably built, you know, in the sixties or whatever. It wasn't like a brand new mansion, but anyway, so, um, you know, after they died and everything, a lot of things ended up being abandoned in the mansion. And one of the things that was abandoned was, you know, a lot of the pies and cakes that she, you know, just for whatever reason, they just, um, she wasn't able to, you know, sell them and they just ended up being abandoned in the mansion. 
And, uh, but they still look, I mean, really, really, really good, really professional and everything. And I even um, reached down and um, took a bite out of one of the pies. And, um, and I did taste it a little bit. And I remember thinking, oh, shit, maybe I should have done that because, you know, maybe I, I, maybe I would get sick or whatever since the pies and the cakes had been sitting there, you know, for 20, 30 years or whatever. But, but yeah, that part was freaking cool, man, because these, these pies and cakes were like, I've never seen anything so awesome and so immaculate. Um, um, oh, man, like, I went to Walmart last night, and some cakes and pies they had, they looked, like, so nasty. Like, they were just thrown together. But, um, but yeah, she was a freaking expert baker. That was just a little job that she had, you know, on the side or whatever. Or that she did in her mansion when they owned it. Um, or as her little hobby, I mean. Not as a job, but just as her hobby. But like I say, man, these cakes and pies, they were freaking gourmet. But anyway, um, it was just kind of cool how the real estate agents somehow were, were trying to make me believe that the mansion was haunted. Because I know, I knew deep down inside that they did that. They threw all of those things upside down. You know, just to make me think it was haunted when I knew that they actually, you know, put all those, the candles and the knickknacks or whatever upside down. But anyway, that was, that was my cool little lucid dream about being in a mansion again. And, and like I say, that experience, it wasn't an A plus experience. That mansion, that mansion with the acetone gas leak. Oh yeah, that was probably like A minus or A plus. This experience was more like B+. Plus. Um, but still, it was pretty cool. It was pretty fun. Um, let me see if I'm forgetting anything. But anyway, no, I don't think I'm forgetting anything. Maybe some small little details that I, that I saw. But yeah, I did actually eat a piece of the pie. And um, I remember even like, like slightly tasting it. And then I just remember thinking, shit, maybe I shouldn't have done that because I was thinking I was going to maybe get sick since I knew it had been sitting there for 30 years, you know, the pie and the cake. And by the way, this is not, th there's another experience that I'm going to talk about. Well, it was, it, it'll just be like a two minute experience. This same similar situation, this was, this experience I had was many, many, many years ago before I knew the aliens were tampering with me and what the deal was, it's kind of like they took me back in time. But I'll just talk about that in another video. But it was the same, same little theme of the, it was cookies. It was chocolate chip cookies. Oh, actually, and then there's another experience with chocolate chip cookies in it. Oh, I haven't talked about that abduction, actually. Oh, yeah, I got to talk about that one, too. Well, I'll talk about those. Um, but like the one with the, uh, where I, they took me back in time. You know, I didn't know the aliens were messing with me at the time. So after I woke up, I thought I was being, um, I thought, I mean, like I knew it was an out-of-body experience, but I thought I somehow was like being put back in time, you, you know, but now I just realized it was, you know, virtual reality. The other experience, um, I already knew the aliens were tampering with me and that was around 2014. I had that experience, but that was a quick experience too, but I can talk about some of those in another video, a female reptilian with wings, took me on that trip. Yeah, it was kind of comical, but I could talk, yeah, and I forgot about that. I forgot about talking about that one, but that one, you know, it, it won't take long to talk about that one either, but anyway, that was my cool experience to another mansion that I bought. But like I say, sometimes they throw me in mansions and it's not my mansion. And then I, I know I talked about that one experience where um, there was this other mansion that I bought and I paid $3,000 for it. And I know the reason why the alien threw that in there was because, you know, I sold my motorcycle. And it's worth, it was worth $3,000, but I didn't sell it for that. Thanks for listening.